Hello, today I am going to be explaining breath tests. In our office, we have three different types of breath tests. Lactose breath tests, fructose breath tests, and bacterial overgrowth. Just a reminder that if your doctor wants you to do more than one breath test, these tests will have to be done on different days. Before beginning the test, we would like you to thoroughly read the instructions. If you have any questions in regards to the instructions, feel free to give our office a call at 366-8695. Today I'm going to be explaining the lactose breath test. To begin this test, we, um, 24 hours prior to beginning the test, they do not want you eating any high fiber or slowly digesting foods or fruits. So to make it easier on you, we send home a list of foods that are okay to eat, things you should be avoiding in your diet, and kind of a sample menu for the day. 12 hours prior to starting the test, we do not want you eating any food at all, only drinking water. So how you're going to accomplish that is you're going to follow the low residue diet the day prior, eat dinner, maybe a snack, wake up the next morning, and start the test. So you get 12 hours of not eating in overnight. Half hour prior to starting the test and during the test, they do not want you smoking, doing any vigorous exercises, or sleeping. If you are currently taking any antibiotics, they do not want you um, doing this test and waiting 10 days to the last dose to begin the test. So again, if you are on taking any antibiotics, please wait 10 days after your last dose to take this test, as it will interfere with the testing. If you are currently taking any laxatives, Metamucil, antacids, Citrusil, please discontinue for at least one day prior and for the duration of the test. So to begin, the lactose test. You are going to take the easy sampler and one breath test tube. What you're going to do is take a deep breath and blow into the bag. Once you see the bag is completely full of air, you're going to take the tube, push it in here onto the needle for two seconds and pull it right back off. Just going to get a breath test sample from you. And this is how it is done. After completing the tube of air, I do need you to place a label on it. Thoroughly fill out the label and then just place it around the test tube. That is step one. Step two is you're going to drink the solution. Mix this up with eight ounces of warm water. After mixing it up, try and drink the contents within three to five minutes. After drinking it then, you're going to wait one full hour and collect a second tube. One more hour, collect a third tube. One last hour and collect your fourth tube. After you are done with the test then, what you need to do is place the tubes, the labeled tubes, place them into this bubble wrap. After placing them into the bubble wrap, I need you to place them back into the box. In the box, there is this form with your name on it. Please keep this form in the box. This is for our billing purposes, so we need this back from you. The things you can throw away are going to be the empty container, or the empty bag, the easy sampler, your instructions, the bag the tubes come in, and anything else. So basically the only thing we need back from you is the labeled tubes in the bubble wrap in the form with your name on it. Again, if your doctor has you doing more than one test, 
Please try and complete all three tests within a two-week period. Once you return these tests back to the office, just drop them off to the girls up front, and it takes up to a week to get your results back to you. The nurse will be giving you a call with your results. Again, if you have any questions while doing this test, please give our office a call at 366-8695. Thank you.